Hey everyone, it's Dr. Resch again. So I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. Well, actually all this digital recording and sending out videos to you guys, I've definitely never tried before. So let's see what happens. Um, this is Poetry Month. And as you mostly all of you know, as I write poetry and I've been writing poetry since I was six years old. So I was going through a box of old stuff and I found some of my poetry notebooks from when I was in elementary school. So I'm going to share three poems when I was in fifth grade, fourth grade, and third grade. And um, I have to find my six-year-old poem somewhere, but I think I could rem remember it. Um, and after I share them with you, I'm going to share my email address with you because I'm going to ask you a question. Some of you have heard this first poem before because I think I recited it in morning program one time. All right, so this is my kind of beat up old poetry notebook from when I was a kid. And this was my very best cursive writing that I could do when I was in fifth grade. Now, they used to teach us a lot of cursive writing and we also had this really funny thing where you were not allowed to write with a pen until you were in fourth grade. Um, and then we, we had to do it a very certain way. So we were very excited when we were allowed to write with a pen. So this was a very long time ago. So this was like 1965 was when I was in um, fifth grade. The shadows of my room. The shadows of my room are dark and scary, and I lie abed, cautious and wary of what goes on in the shadowy world, where some of its magic is never unfurled. And under my covers I feel so small, with massive shadows staring down from the wall. It might be a witch or an old sea hag, projected shapes from a paper bag or from my desk where papers lay that I dropped there from the other day. But this I admit and really must say, my imagination was running away. So you know that poems don't have to rhyme. When I was in elementary school, most of our poems were rhyming poems. This one has a little bit of internal rhyme in it. This was my fourth grade poem called Robert and it's about a rabbit that was in my backyard. There's a rabbit named Robert that lives in our yard. His coat is of soft brown fur. His tail is as round as a fluffy white ball and his ears stand tall. His eyes are alert as he watches from his home in the tomato patch. On sunny days he comes out and plays in the flower bed. He frolics with the butterflies, and every day as we go by, he sits as still as rabbits can and watches every beast or man. Okay. And here is my last one. Um, this was my third grade cursive writing. It's very faint pencil. It might not show up here. probably getting more faint because it's fading every year. So this would have been mm, about 1963. This was called October Leaves and this was totally rhymy. All the trees have golden leaves and some of them have brown but when it's blowing and not yet snowing then they flutter down. Gold and brown Gold and brown, October is when they flutter down. So here's my six-year-old poem. I'm going to try to remember it. I'm not sure where I have it in that notebook. I sit with my duck. My duck and I, we just sit there. We don't not cry. And all this rain is falling down. We just sit there and we just frown. So... I think I must have been sitting watching the rain come down. And I did not have a duck, unless it was a little stuffed animal duck. Okay, 
So, you might remember that I, every year I write a lot of poems for kids during our um, book fest. And I just say, hey, what kind of poem do you want? And somebody tells me, I want a poem about a pony, or I want a poem about my best friend, or I want a poem about world peace. So when you guys tell me a idea, I usually write you a quick poem, and it takes me about 30 seconds. And I want to still do that. So I'm going to give you my email address, and if you email me, whoops then I will send you a poem but you have to email me and you have to include two things what you want the poem about and your name because if you are emailing me from a grown-ups address I may not know who's emailing me so I need your name and what the poem is about that you want me to write okay you got that hold this up a little bit longer it's basically the district address with my whole name. You have to spell it right. Okay, great. Thanks for listening.